Well, good morning, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion, and you're probably surprised that I'm not in my apartment or I'm not at the park or anything. I decided to come walk down Hollywood Boulevard and I was gonna vlog something and on the way, I noticed this place has just opened. What this is, is this is an auction house for screen used movie props. So they agreed to let me walk through, vlog it, and so we're gonna do that today. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Now they said there's actually 10,000 props inside here, so this should be a blast. And I totally expect to see things that I have no idea what they are, so luckily there's supposedly a description next to everything that should help tell us. Now it's happening here at the Vogue Theater, which hasn't been used in quite a while. It's always kind of a supper club or something like that, and now they finally turned it into something great that I can appreciate. So we're tour actually, we don't actually have to take a tour, but they bring people in in groups by time so that the place doesn't get too clustered. So we'll actually be going in in five minutes. And it's free. Oh, they have Rembrandt at the Getty. Gonna have to go. Look at that van parked over there. They have the Cadillac Stonehenge over there. Cad what is that called, Cadillac Ranch? Now the true question in all of this will be, will I know any of these props? Because these are probably from more recent movies that I've probably never seen, but then again, we might be surprised. You might see some real classics in there. You never know. Actually take them and auction them all over the world. Uh, and I will show you a few examples of that. If you've been standing here for some time, you'll notice that courtesy of our partners over at Sony Pictures, uh, they brought in the Men in Black 3 motorcycle that Will Smith has been riding on in this clip. It said that he sat here, his kid told me he sat here for about seven hours, um, and they built the entire world around him. He reached out to us occasionally and said, hey, you know, I have 30 years worth of Laurel and Hardy. I do not know what it may be worth, but I'd love for you guys to manage an auction for me and see what we can do. The posters that you see on the walls are about 90 years old. Um, and what's interesting about these posters when we were doing this auction for March 1, uh, they didn't have printing or Photoshop or the ability to do mass printing, so they had to print it. And these can get up to about six or $700,000 a piece. One of the, uh, there's a pretty, I say he's sort of well-known actor by the name of Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, he probably buys more of these posters than anyone, and he has over $40 million worth, just literally in his front room in his living room. Wow. Jeez. Uh, set from New Girl. A little bit of her living room, a little bit of her bedroom, all of her decor, uh, in addition to a little bit of her bedroom and much of her living room. This is wardrobe in Zoe de Chanel's. On May 15th, we're going to actually do an auction. Um, Mad Men, just above you. Mad Men is courtesy of our good friends over at Lionsgate. It's based on a character in an advertising agency. The main character is Don Draper. We've ran two auctions to date for Mad Men, and we're currently running a third as we speak. This is the segue to Paul Blart Uh And when you, we're done, you guys can come and take photos on it. I ask that you only put a foot on it, because I only have this little thing holding it up. We didn't know that once it didn't operate, that it wouldn't stand on itself. But if you want to come and take a photo, or do whatever you want it to do. Feel free to come do that. They Everything just said they're gonna have the set of the office. That goes on top. Wow, I'll have to come back to for that. that. These are items that were not even in the auction. This it goes to how much this individual had. Um, we decided to put it on what will be a full bar in 11 days. Uh, and that bar will be complete with crafted cocktails and refreshments. From 11 to four, we will do family friendly. And where I he just said they're going to go out to Ireland and bring back the Game of Thrones. Yeah, Throne. is no mirror. That's our warehouse. Our warehouse is about 100 film and TV shows combined and over a thousand categories. So we have everything back there from a sewing kit used on screen to Jax Teller's motorcycle from Sons of Anarchy. Um, this is a former case of Miramax. This was their Oscar case. Uh, movies such as Pulp Fiction, Django, and a few others actually had their Oscars here. This is the gun literally pointing at Will Smith's head, and this is the script to the movie Fury, signed by all of the actors themselves. 
Um, 10 time Academy Award winning Best Picture and 10 time Academy nominations for um, Gangs of New York. This is done in Lewis's costume, and portrayed Bill the Butcher. This is about 35 grand. Um, and this is courtesy of our good friend and director, Mr. Martin Scorsese. Uh, we will continue to bring things like this inside. Anybody local? Everybody's traveling? They did 12 episodes and decided to not bring it back. Um, for whatever reason. What a waste of $120 million, I guess. But we sent three shipping containers and we brought back essentially all of the assets that they had spent all the money on. He just said all the stuff in this room for sale is under um, 100 bucks. This jacket or this rack so of coats guys, is $29.99. Um, shoes, accessories, and most of which has been production use, some screen used items. And again, 95% of it is less than $100. Um, this is Daniela. She has been with me since the very beginning and very responsible for the way in which the store looks which it looks really cool, and she'll explain to you how it works. Feel free to have fun, try on anything, and if you like it, you have an opportunity to buy it and take a piece of Hollywood home with you. Thank you so much. So this was used in 21 Jump Street. So basically what they were telling us is that they're an auction house, and where it all started was with a meeting with, um, the show Breaking Bad. The uh, the people that eventually started this company, ScreenBid, um, said, what do you guys do with all the props when you're done filming? And they said, nothing really. And they said, can we come in, take them, and auction them? And he said that's what they've been doing ever since. So the plan with this place is, this is actually a hands-on place where if you're a fan of a show, you can actually come here and they're going to sell all this stuff to the fans. You can actually touch it. This is Jess's bed from New Girl. One of my former girlfriends used to love this show and so we used to watch it. It was actually a pretty funny show. So they got all the sets from New Girl. All these clothes over here were Zoe Deschanel's clothes from New Girl. And he said that um, in like two weeks, they're gonna have the set from the office here, which I'm gonna come back for because I already vlogged the office building. We'll have to see that. Come have a crafted cocktail. Absolutely. So he's saying that uh, this, I've actually not seen this show. This is a Netflix show. He said it was $120 million to make and then they didn't renew it. So they went in and they got all the sets. So they're selling sets here. Now, like I said, most of this stuff is, um, is all like less than a hundred bucks or 30 bucks and it's all labeled with what it's from. So we're gonna walk around, take a look at everything. This to me is so cool. Daniel Day-Lewis, one of the greatest actors in history, his, one of his outfits from Gangs of New York, I guarantee they had at least more than one of these just for production uses, but to get to see this kind of stuff, so cool. Plus, I can come back here a lot because they're gonna have constantly rotating exhibits and things that are for sale. Here's Will Smith using that gun. Actually, they said this gun is the one that's being pointed at his head in the photo. And then this is Gwyneth Paltrow's dress from Shakespeare in Love. You can see right there, she's wearing it. In here, same ruffles and everything there. Now they actually said they'll work with you on the price. If there's something you really want, then they'll work with, with everybody, which is pretty cool. Cause she did have great style on the show. And it, like I said, it was a funny show. It was actually nominated for like eight Emmys, I think. Then, of course, we saw him tell us that this was the segue from Paul Blart. I love this. As soon as I saw this, I loved it because I'm a huge fan of this movie, White Men Can't Jump. This looks like a lot of this is from Masters of Sex. A lot of the set decorations. Here's a fake Ty Cobb signed baseball. Californication. That mask is from Gone Baby Gone. American Crime Story. 
Oh, the Thai Cobb is from Boardwalk Empire. I see that sign behind it now. And I don't know what this is from. Maybe one of you have seen the show that it's from. Wow, these are interesting uh, helmets, huh? This has to be from Boardwalk Empire, wouldn't you think? Those pinstripes. Now all this stuff they said is from a private collector, their Laurel and Hardy collection. He said that the um, what they found out was that a lot of those posters, the person who owned all this stuff was just a big fan, didn't really know what the value was. So they said that they found out that these posters, the original posters, were for the most part all hand drawn. So they had, if they had to have a hundred posters go around the country, somebody they said hand drew and colored them all by hand. So most of these they said are worth uh, thousands upon thousands of dollars. How cool is that to be sitting on Jess's bed right now from New Girl? <laughs> This is so cool. I just, I saw this stuff all over Europe. It's kind of crazy. I saw stuff in Belgium. I mean, pretty much every country I went to, you'd see some sort of Laurel and Hardy old figurine somewhere. Check out this old Bart jacket. The, uh, the sleeves are like furry, like, uh, like angel wings. Look at all these jerseys. These right here say, uh, say Glee. I never watched any of that. This is uh, Fran Tarkenton from How I Met Your Mother. This is Isaiah Thomas, Derek Rose. They had to cover up the uh, the logo and everything right there. And that is, uh, I believe they said that was Cece's wedding dress from New Girl. She's beautiful anyway, so this would look great on her. Oh look, this is stuff from uh, Parks and Rec. There's Andy, Johnny Karate, Snake Juice from the bar. Oh, that's awesome. The Pawnee Harvest Festival. Look, Nope shirts. Leslie Nope. <laughs> Jerry. Happy 100th. Look, the Pawnee uh, City Police. <laughs> Save JJ's Diner. And that's another one of uh, CeCe's dresses from New Girl. Look at all this stuff. Laurel and Hardy snow globes. I like the cases. This is the kind of stuff I'm into. All the screen used sunglasses and Bruce Lee Kung Fu belt buckle. Oh, look at that. Laurel and Hardy pocket watch. I wonder how much that is. The Laurel and Hardy patch. Oh, look at all the faces on the wall. Check this out. What this is, is uh, these are all tailored cuts for different actors and musicians and singers. Like this is the uh, the cut for Johnny Carson, you can see, by Serto Beverly Hills. And then this one's Barry White. You see this is B. White right there. Then that one's Paul Anka. This one is Barry Gordy, the man who started Motown. Um, this one is Mr. Mr. Frank Sinatra. Wow, that's pretty cool. And then this bottom one is Mr. Vidal Sassoon. Interesting. I don't know what this was from, but I bought one of these in Sweden and left it there, forgot it. So the guy who collected all the uh, Laurel and Hardy stuff also was a big collector of Popeye and Fritz the Cat. So this is all original Fritz the Cat stuff. And apparently he was a big restaurant owner in like Minnesota. So all of his restaurants were decorated with Laurel and Hardy stuff. Hence all this stuff right here. Look at all the merch. Oh, those are interesting. 
<laughs> Jeez. A lot of the really old stuff is from the Get Down. That show that they just made, you can, I mean, they must have spent tons and tons on that. He said it was uh, 120 million, but I mean, this all must have been custom made type stuff. Whoa, Edward Scissorhands hat? Wow, look at the chairs. I dig those. <laughs> and there's boxing gloves down there. Oh wow, look at this lamp. I may have to ask about this, look at that. That is awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's no way I can afford it, whatever it is. Wow. Wow, yeah, look at that sucker. Man, they only want 150 for that lamp. That is tempting. Kind of looks like a Lucy type dress, doesn't it? They have vests from Sons of Anarchy that didn't get turned into uh, to the biker vests. Like they ended up not using them, but they're all still real leather. Wow, check this out. It's got the bracelet. Woden Hero. I didn't watch this uh, enough to know what, who that was. The cool thing is that they actually let you try on anything or touch anything you want. You see this dinner plate was from the movie Titanic. And then there's the, uh, the red jewelry for Cece's wedding dress. Oh cool, look at the Laurel and Hardy figures right there. Little women's brass knuckles. All of these clothes are from Empire. If any of you watch Empire. Burger Planet has a jacket that looks like this. So it looks like this whole rack is all stuff from the Mindy Project. Yeah, those are definitely Mindy's clothes. Oh, nice hat. Oh, I'm, I'm totally all about this. Let's see what this looks like. Does this look as good as the top hat does on me? Now, I didn't really watch Mad Men, so I don't really know what a lot of this stuff is, but maybe some of you guys watched it and you'll understand. That looks like a Don Draper chair, a headless Don Draper sitting in it at least. <laughs> Does that look, any of that look familiar to you guys? <laughs> well, we're gonna get out of here. This was pretty cool for me getting to see this set since I was, at the time I was forced to watch the show and then it's one of those shows that you end up liking because you watch it enough. And it was cleverly written and I actually got one of my SAG vouchers being on this show so it's kind of cool to see the actual set here, see Jess's bedroom and everything. And of course the couch. All right, we're gonna come back here in a, well, maybe a week or two, see some of that office stuff, some of that stage setup. And this was definitely one of the highlights too, getting to see a classic prop like that from Men in Black. I mean, you can see him using it right there. You may, not a problem. So I live in the city. I live here. I'm visiting. This is my niece and my mother. You know what, ScreenBid, good job. Way to bring it to the people. One of the cool things they told me is since I signed up for the, uh, when I came in, I gave them my email address. They're gonna add me to their uh, membership. And so they're they're actually in conjunction with the, uh, the Man's Chinese Theater down the street now, the Chinese Theater Cooperative. So they're actually gonna be having um, post parties over here. And they're gonna, what they're trying to do is basically trying to bring more of Hollywood to the people. And so that's the whole purpose of this is being able to let uh, people that come here intermingle with the celebrities that are in the movies as well as the props that were in the TV and movies. 
Now the cool thing about this also is that they haven't even had their official like grand opening. They've had like a soft opening about two weeks ago they said and they said they haven't done any kind of launch party or anything so they're just giving people a chance to get a feel it before you know the all the press knows about it so we got first crack at it. Well it's been a nice calm day here in Los Angeles. Now let's take Jaw out for a walk. You guys haven't got to see him yet today. All right, let's take this guy out. I really enjoyed finding that screen prop house today, and just the kind of things that guy was telling me they're gonna be getting in there is like right up my alley. At least the most recent things that have come out that I like, they're gonna have stuff in there, so we'll definitely be back there. All right, go wherever you wanna go. Almost can't even keep up with you, jeez. Or not? You don't want it? Oh, good stuff. I thought you were taking a break. Well, I think I'm gonna call it a day, guys. I had a great day, did you? Well, Lionhearts, if they're happy, I'm happy. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. I want to thank Sean Duffy for becoming my newest Patreon and thank you to everyone who chooses to support me because you like my videos and not because of, you know, things that I send as rewards. Thank you for appreciating what we do here every day. We'll be back tomorrow. Have a great night. And I'll see you all then. Have a good night and goodbye. Beautiful.